The full text of the play, with introductions, notes, glossary and colour illustrations in the BBC Television Shakespeare paperback series, will be available from booksellers in November. And a costume exhibition based on the Shakespeare series is open daily, all the year round, in Stratford-upon-Avon. Norman Rodway, who played Gloucester in King Lear, can also be heard as Sir Toby Belch in a new production of Twelfth Night, the first play ever to be broadcast on radio. Radio 4, as part of the BBC's 60th anniversary, will be presenting this new production on Saturday, October the 2nd. A new look for Monday night on BBC Two. At 7.15, comedy with the two Ronnies. The golden age of steam. Return to King's Cross Station today when the hot drinks vending machine on Platform 5 exploded. At 8 o'clock, Alec Guinness in Smiley's People, the new production of John le Carre's novel. Vladimir was one of the best agents we ever had. Because he was yours, you mean? Because he was good. He was potty. He was loyal and honourable. George. At 9 o'clock, there's a lot of it about, but Spike Milligan has a cure. I can't see him suffer like this. I must open this tin of ITV applause. <laughs> and at 9.30, the second film in the series Hypnosis poses the question, can your mind control pain? In Professor Orne's laboratory, a medical student is about to take part in a demonstration which will show how, even though his perception of pain is altered by hypnosis, the information from the physical stimulus still reaches the brain. At 10.25 and again at 11.30, highlights of the day's play in Championship Darts with Newsnight at 10.45. Monday evening on BBC Two. Heart of the matter on BBC One now provides an update of a programme from the last series about lady protesters at Greenham Common Nuclear Base. Here on two in 50 minutes, Raquel Welsh in The Wild Party after tonight's championship darts. again and after the heavy drama of King Lear to the more light-hearted drama here at Gaskins in Middlesbrough where tonight we've completed the first round matches in the Unipart British Professional Darts Championship for 1982. With the end of the evening here the 32 original players reduced to 16 in the chase for the title and its first prize of £7,000. Well, so far, things have been going pretty well indeed. Uh, all the seeded players who've played so far, they've all gone through. But this afternoon, there were some pretty close matches. Peter